Do the other one. It is episode 551 of the Working Class Bowhunter podcast. That is one episode closer to episode 600. See. Kirk Ayers in the house. Eric Hammond. Doug Schmidt. Austin Chandler. And we have guest co host Frank from Novix. <laughs> he not. Just not. And then we have two fine young gentlemen from Big Time. Good looking. You got that wrong on both counts, but I'm complimenting you. You're on our show. What what we say goes. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, Joe Humphreys. Nick Ingles. Thanks for being here, fellas. Thanks for having us. We're gonna talk about some stuff today, huh? We got some big news, man. This is a little bit different than we've ever done before, where this is kind of like what I have for you is kind of like what I would take to a line review for one of my buyers to put into a retailer store. It's very official looking on the table right now on the studio table. Of official yes, looking it's, it's stuff. It's very straight and uh, Joe is very professional. Yeah, put together. Very nice. Yeah, I will say I do appreciate Frank and you know Novix and Big Time and Joe and Nick. You guys coming to us to record. I think we're kind of like holding the flag for most in studio guests of all podcasts right now. So I appreciate you guys making the effort to be here. So I don't think I I don't think we do that often enough. Thanking people for coming to us. Yeah, we appreciate hey, it very much. Thank you. Um, we honestly just heard that it was fried shrimp night at the restaurant across oh. the street. So, but <laughs> really delicious for the record. Shout very out, good. Shout out the shout depot out. in yeah, New yeah, Windsor, definitely. Illinois. If you guys are ever coming, through. definitely the burger was tasty. Dude, the bacon had like grease sizzling on it when they brought it. It was awesome. Just don't call the depot in Donahue. You ever had a bad? New you ever had a bad meal at the depot in New Windsor? Nope. I'm nope. bad a thousand. Dude, pretty good. Joe, you had a couple meals there. Yeah, the the wings are awesome. I was gonna go with catfish because the Lord said so, and then Delish. shrimp was the special. So, <laughs> dude, their specials are good. Got to chicken fried steak is also the shit. If you're ever going to be there. Anyway, moving on. Big time. Thank you for being a partner. We appreciate that. Use code yeah. WCB2023. And WCB2023 is now live. 22 is live until the end of the year, but we went ahead and opened up the 23 in case anybody wants to jump the gun. I like that. It's the same discount. Right. You're not getting it. Not doubling it up. Just one list. number off. You just look yeah. like a type A mobile hunter. If you're using the 2023 and 2022, shout out to you. I think this launches in 2023 anyway. So if you somehow used it already, <laughs> you're a fucking genius. Right. Perfect. And you can see the future. Joe, what's going on with Big Time? You got a lot of stuff on this table. Man, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, what's phenom- first? What do we start with? Phenomenal year. Let's taper uh, in. Can we taper in? We can. I don't know what that means. Start yes. little. N- none of it's little. Everything. I never start little. It's balls deep or nothing at all. Throttle in then, buddy. I'll let you. Give her the beans. Let's go. Really just the, never gives me the mic. Give her the beans. Give me this you thing. Know? Listen, I'm too busy hosting and drinking and getting. <laughs> you're trying to hey, be Kurt, a one. Kurt, you're, shut trying up. To, you're trying to be a shower. We're trying to be growers. You know, starting That's literally small, the product big. says. No, it, big. it was uh, nothing little. It was another insane oh, year for us. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I think we have that conversation every year where it's just good. Exceeds everything that we thought we were going to do, but. Uh, my my boy Daryl Cherry has been hard at it on new products for uh, for twenty three. Um, we've been going pretty hard and kind of wanted to shift gears a little bit. Um, you know, it, the on on the feed side, we feel like we're we, we're want to be. You, you can only go so far. We've got the three blends. Uh, you can find something that you want within those three. Mm-hmm. The food plot has been phenomenal for us. It's been going for two years now. I think we have a we have a little bit of an addition that we'll talk about later, mm-hmm. um, but we really wanted to make our attention focused on attraction and complementary to what we have on the market already for 23. So no one knows about this yet. So this is the official launch. Okay. Um, it it's shown. You heard it here first. Exactly. Thank you, Doug. Sorry, I don't know why you yelled. Oh. At, I don't know why you screamed at that. I'm sorry, I got he's excited. Been he's really excited. excited. I got Twenty minutes. Excited. I got well, he's been <laughs> eating half the samples over. I enjoyed there, so. it. I enjoyed it. I'm not mad at your. My time is growing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> extra big time. It's going to fall off in three months. Don't worry about oh. it. Oh. It'll come back. But <laughs> this is a little bit different than we've ever done before. We're basically, you guys are going to get to see, feel, touch, smell Taste. all the new products before it's even on offered at ATA because that's the official launch. So kind of a cool deal. Mm-hmm. Wanted to give you guys the, the first dibs on it. I like it, man. Very Thank cool. you for that. Absolutely. Thank you for that. So let's uh, let's dive in. Ooh, dude, you hit me with a a zinger before we hopped in the studio that I did not expect. Which one's that? That little black bag sitting in front of you. There's a burnt spoon in there too. Can we just uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so literally, I brought this into one of my line reviews, and apparently the buyer was a Pulp Fiction fan. Uh huh. Nice. Uh, because John Travolta always carries his little oh, black yeah. baggie oh, with him. Yeah. He's okay. like, "Is there a burnt spoon in there?" He said that. Yeah, I'm like, mm, no, no, I don't think I don't so. Know. This is a <laughs> business <laughs> meeting, but, sir. But it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, well, the the little black pouch is actually the first thing we'll talk about. So the the first uh, product we're really getting outside our comfort zone. In 2023, because we've always been known for Cherry Rush. Outside the comfort zone, okay. We're not afraid to do that. I like it. Um, You know, we were kind of the first ones to the market with a cherry-flavored anything, being the the feed and the aroma that you have in our feed. And, you know, always before then, it was like apple or persimmon or, Mm -hmm. you know, the basics. So we came out with cherry. We felt it was time that we kind of dive outside those parameters and maybe start looking at more regionalized flavoring mm-hmm. or, or across the country. I'm going to burp. You're doing good. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> Why'd you look at me? I felt it coming. <laughs> hey, Eric, What's wrong? Is, is the back door unlocked? I don't know. I didn't come in the back door. We got a buddy coming over. Surprise buddy? You want me to go? Yeah, if you don't that? mind. If you don't mind. That sounds we have a friend so, coming over. Cool. He'll, he'll be in 45 minutes. In 45 minutes? Yeah, good dude. You want you'll like to meet him. You like to meet him actually. He's a dude that was gonna do some test plot stuff for you. Okay. Cool. Good guy to have. I just want to make sure he texts right. me. Hey, I'm on my way. I want to meet them guys. So right okay. on. Doors open for you, buddy. So that being said, we're coming out with triggered, which is gonna be technically it's still a feed, mm-hmm. but you know, it's becoming in a five pound bag. Okay. So here's there's the bag for you. There's the bag, dude. That is sick. Mm. So we. By went, the way, great marketing on the bags. Good looking bag. Clean. That is a good looking bag. Well, <laughs> we're nice we're bag. always trying to stay relevant, and everyone's concerned about being getting someone triggered. I love it, dude. <laughs> um, and I, I think I had a couple beers or something that night. It was like that somebody might have been talking about Trump on the news or something. And yeah, everyone's triggered and. Well, this is going to trigger reaction from your deer. So, like, dude, screw triggered. it. Let's, let's put it on the let's protein, put it on the bags, mineral, name it. attractant, triggered. And, and and the great thing about it, I mean, the the triggered is going to be an immediate response. So, you know, you're not taking a 40 pound bag of feed out to get things going. If you just want to get a camera out there, if you have a new property, you bring in the camera. You want to carry a five pound bag out and put it right in front of the camera. You're good to go. I so, love it, dude. You know, bring that. That's where this little black bag comes in. Okay, with the burnt spoon in it? With the burnt spoon. Oh. So with Triggered, we're going to offer that in the Cherry Rush mm-hmm. that everyone loves the smell. Yes. But we're also going to have that offered in orange, persimmon, and pear. No shit. So mm. orange, a lot of people in the Midwest are like, why the hell would you have it? orange? That's a big craze in Texas. and Oranges. Florida. For whatever reason, they love orange down there. And we tested up here. The deer, it's not like they're shying away from it, but that's kind of the craze down there. We're hmm. always trying to stay relevant and yeah. different spots. Trendy. Interesting. So these are all the smells and aromas. What? Smelling. So, what do you want to start salt. with? Orange. Orange. Well, let's uh, go orange. Or, orange for sure. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we, don't, we don't need cherry rush. Joe's got a black shady case full of sticks of smells. Look like test tubes. Vials. They got vials. You vials. should see me going on an in an airport with this. This is a good time. You want what? One? So what is yeah. in this, Orange. Joe? Like what is creating the smell? Is it like essential oils? What the fuck is in there? There, there is essential oils. Okay, but, but it is a dry flavoring that's going to be added to the trigger. Okay, so this is orange first. Doug's going to get it first. Don't get too close. It's it, it'll hit strength. you. 
It smells like orange. Really good. Smelling salts going on over here. Oh, uh, dude, we need to get some smelling salts in the studio. It says orange on it. Is this like a powder? <laughs> yeah, it's a, oh, I got you. I can read. Powder. Creative Whoa. name. I like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Creative name. <laughs> I'm going to laugh and it's going to like dust out. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I, it's Let me like see. A, Let me see. It's like a pixie stick. I, when when it gets to Eric, then I'll start the next one. So the next one that Doug's gonna get is persimmon. I like that. I gotta smell my bush. I'm interested on the persimmon. Wait, can yeah, I, I don't really know what a persimmon. Is this a taste like. test? Or it's a COVID test, actually. Dude, that one. Dump, <laughs> dump that in your mouth. That one. Dump that in your mouth, Eric. What if we eat this? Will it kill us? I, no. Is there anthrax in it? It's like the time <laughs> Steve <laughs> drank really the happy good. hour liquid. <laughs> yeah, Steve, not a good idea. It's not gonna taste very. What's a persimmon smell like? That that it, it, yeah, I don't exactly. even know what a persimmon oh, is. That's nice. That is nice. That's for our southern gym. Dude, if you made a nut lotion and persimmon <laughs> for your bag, dude, dude. <laughs> straight to nuts. by trees. <laughs> <Your bag. laughs> I like the orange. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I like persimmon better than oh, what's the orange. This, what's this one? Right. <laughs> for Hair's your bag. Hair's coming around now. <laughs> oh. That's nice. I didn't know that's what persimmon you know smelled what? like. That's not bad either. What is a persimmon? It smells like a stripper, it's like a little dude. Southern fruit tree. Yeah, it's, well, I like that's pear. Them in the Which like one's the pear. this? Yeah, pear. A little pear. Bit. Where's pear mm. popular in, Joe? No I one love, has a pear flavor anything. I love fucking which pears. Was, which was too. kind of our our <laughs> next kind of like the cherry. You know, I like to do what? I love Ooh, pears. Pear's nice, <laughs> too. But, but here's the thing with the pear. My dad, Burley Raj, has always had the pear tree in his backyard. Oh, there's always deer in it. There's always everything. I mean, Whoa, I, I see that smells good too. I'm a persimmon guy. That persimmon that smells like a nice stripper. Yeah. Ooh, I like. I mean, what you I think never that. smelled a stripper. It's a note of love spell along with a fruity aftershock. Right, dude. You put some glitter in that. Game over. Oh shit! Fuck. Be a good stripper name. Glitter persimmon. Persimmon. <laughs> <laughs> there's a pear. lot of strippers named Glitter. <laughs> Orange. That pear is nice, isn't it? Persimmon's my favorite, though. Number one so far. I like I the pear. So. Yeah, so far. Well, in in terms of you know regionalization, we kind of felt like the cherry rush would be across the board for sure. Orange would be going to Texas most likely. Persimmon would be southeast, and then the pear would be more Midwest yeah. to northeast. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of relevancy of people relating to cherry, the, cherry would make sense widespread if guys have already been using right. Big Ten for supplemental feed. Yeah, it kind of applies to their area. Okay, wow, amazing. I like them all. Refreshing. I'm not Studio mad. Smells great. I like I, the pear. I thought it would be strong, potent, but not that pleasant. We well, got to remember though. That's the the smell, the aroma you're going to get, but that's also the flavoring in the. In the package as well. God damn, so mix them all together. Got some fruity that. pebbles out there for these damn deer. There you go. <laughs> I like that, man. I like. I do like idea. that. Illinois, we can't supplemental feed, so I don't have any experience on like positive or negative reaction to what flavor right. would do well. I Austin, I know, and Frank, I wish we could all do it, but we can't, and that's a bummer. Yeah, Austin can do it now. I have been feeding oh, in Iowa. You can't in Iowa farm, yeah. I yeah. fed several pallets worth. Yeah, no, you you sure. really underestimated how much those deer were going to. They eat. were hungry. <laughs> that, that was kind of fun watching Austin realize how many bags. It's crazy, ain't it? I've never deer. fed before, and uh, I went through a pallet in like three weeks. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna need some more. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it okay if I get more? Yeah, let's, let's go, man. They hungry. They were annihilated. Once they find it, good night. Yeah. Gone. Yep. So that. <laughs> Well, that's exciting, dude. That's that's awesome. No, and uh, we we had some major major retailers pick it up already. So that I can't mention just okay. yet. Okay. But yeah, it's mm. everyone's excited about it. You know, the testing has gone really really well. Um, there's not really one one flavor that's winning out. Over any others, not yet. I kind of really? want to. I kind of want to smell them again. Not even cherry. You know Cherry's not just because it has a head start a little bit. Um, I kind of want. Can I have persimmon again? Again? Yeah. If you guys want to hit them again, hit do them. you guys do like side by sides? Like, do you put four feeders out with a flavor in each one to see if a deer will suck yeah. down more of? Yeah, one we of were them. we were pouring them out just four different piles and. No real yeah, difference in any of them. It was hard to say, oh, oh they, they went to the cherry first. I mean, it was kind of a, a mingling of it. Yep. Dude, I just love it. My, my personal favorite is the pear. You like the pear I, or the I pear? I really like I, the pear. I'm between the pear and the persimmon. I like persimmon. 
Dude, it kind of smells like a supercharged Flintstone vitamin. Yeah. No, that's the in that jar right there. That's the final product there. So it's gonna be. I want to sprinkle it so in this my is bourbon. The cherry final product. This smells like a pixie yeah. stick. Sprinkle it in my bourbon a little. Orange. So, um, there's a lot of spinoffs for this for you guys. There's like car air fresheners. There's body wash with these smells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we want to go that far down the take the it that road far, yet. please go that far. You're talking about some ball bomb, dude. Ball do you not bomb, like money? Give bomb. me some utter bomb, dude. Can I put these on my that, that might be on the WCB page on the mm. Big Kind website, dude. You can get a shampoo. Off, you can roll off the 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 ball bomb with that next bag right there. The ball yeah. bomb. Here's the hard to roll, say. Spin off on that. Right we're now. smelling the super concentrated stuff, but we're also smelling the triggered final product. And Big e- difference. Even though we're talking about like. This smells like a stripper. Yes, it smells strong because we're smelling the concentrated. I think pear's my part favorite too. But the triggered version smells like it actually smells like pretty natural. I mean, if, mm-hmm. if anybody's ever used the cherry on top, you know that's, then they that's know. A, yeah. Then they know. You know it is what it is. It is. No, it does have an. Let it's not that. like a a deer's not going to be like that's perfume. No. <laughs> right. You know they're going to take a lick of it and be like, God damn, that's good. It tastes like persimmon. Hey, and I did. But that's the nice part about this pour and shoot. Uh, you know, the term is pour and shoot, where typically in feed states or bait states, yeah, they take a five pound bag out, dump it out, and there it is. Wait for it. Mm. But this is also going to have our nitro mineral associated with it in the feed, mm. as well as prebiotics. So it's going to make them want to eat more. Yeah, it, you know, it's for gut health and digestibility and absorption into the bloodstream. Mm-hmm. Start so it's that. not just that. Attractive instant, part of it. Right. You've got the attractive part, but we're still kind of going back to our roots with full nutrition on that as well. Yeah, yeah. So, Very cool, dude. I love it. I love it. I, dude, you have, I don't know, a big time if they're not, as a company as a whole, is not thankful for you and your team. They need to be because I feel like you've, you've kind of ch- like – shifted the game and the outlook on like feeding deer well, and what like, did you say in the beginning that what? joe made feeding deer cool again well i don't know if feeding deer was ever cool no i don't think it ever was oh. but you made it cool like you've really with big time you've created like a community with a company that never had a community before like when when the fuck have you ever seen a company that does supplemental feed and food plot seed have people like flying the flag of that brand like what you have created uh, i don't know if it's ever happened the way that you've done it really you're cool you yeah. see dude no i'm big not time cool hats when they walk around trade shows wearing big time shirts wearing big time hats see that's... posting pictures of big time bags why the fuck do they feel that's they what to makes do that? me feel good? Like yeah. if we're flying out to go somewhere and I go to the Indianapolis airport and that's I see a couple big, guys wearing a big time hat, I'm like, we did something. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, we're we're doing well. We're selling product and everything. But when I see it in everyday life, yeah, it's and awesome. I'll walk and be like, nice hat, bro. He's like, oh yeah, man, I love that shit. <laughs> I'm like I know that guy. Well, it, it's <laughs> good, one of those things. Dude. It's like. Great beard. If you're going to buy into a product, you want to be able to fly the product flag with like a sense of good feeling. Oh, 100%. Right? Like, that's the way I look at it. Like, if I buy someone's brand, I want to fly that flag because I spent my money on their brand. So that says a lot, I think. Well, it's cool. When, first and foremost, we have a phenomenal team at, at Big Time, and everyone wears a lot of hats and which is a great thing i i think i mean it keeps us busy all the time but when when i took that job my one request was like look we can make this work because i am your consumer like Mm -hmm. i am that regular guy yeah yeah so let me try to run it like that and if it doesn't work fire me or just tell me it's not working right and you know we we have phenomenal partners you guys are phenomenal partners. Thank you. You're the people you represent are phenomenal people. Those are our people, mm-hmm. and that's who we want to keep on catering to. Yeah, and I mean a- across the board, all of our partners are phenomenal. I mean, there's a lot of different genres or spectrums of hunters, and we've always strived to connect to all of them in some way. For sure, the, the, yeah, I get the that. weekend hunter, the guy that takes six weeks off, the guy that can afford to spend two thousand dollars on a blind. The guy that's building a blind out of an old outhouse. Mm -hmm. Like, we want to give them something. For sure. Yeah. And 
I think we've done well with relating to everyone. I think you guys have. You guys have done a great job. Thank you. Awesome job. I think you've done a, a different job than the rest of the game, which is important in, in a market where And we're still just having tough. fun, man. Like, well, I think that's the point, and that kind of comes across in your yeah. branding, like triggered because the name of your new product. I love it. It's like, everyone's triggered by it's everything. Like, it's like suck it. This is the name of our new product. That's funny, and yeah. everyone that's buying the product gets it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like if if you're offended by our name triggered, it's because I didn't care if I pissed you off or not. Anyway, yeah. like you're not so, our customer. It's probably not for you. Like <laughs> the, <laughs> the hunters that we want to cater to are gonna think that's that's fucking. Funny. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> So let's move on from the shady um, vials, vials, <laughs> the <laughs> little black bag. <laughs> yeah, the vials of anthrax. <laughs> that we all. I'm not, just, I'm not feeling the, so well after okay. sniffing those. I'm sick. Last thing untriggered. That is going to be a 21 percent protein. Okay. Um, four percent fat and nine percent fiber. Okay. So if you're looking at those, those are kind of the top three: protein, fat, fiber. Those are right up there where you want to be. Okay. Um, a, the the protein's a little above and beyond your your normal intake, but this is a five pound bag that they're not going to be eating a lot of right. anyway. So you want to give them a little extra boost anyway. So I gotcha. There, there's a lot of benefit to that more than just drawing them in. Okay. So so yeah, it's not just an attractant. Not Nutritional just an attractant. value still still holding true to our big time roots on that. Love it. Good. Okay. Thank you for adding that in, so people aren't like what. It's it just, just smell. It just smells real nice. It's just pears. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like it. a person. I don't get it. <laughs> it's just pears. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, noted. Triggered. Like it. Wish I could use it in my home state. We'll get. You, hey, hey. I'll get a hold of your agent and we'll get you over to oh. hunt in Indiana. Have Frank call and, me. And, <laughs> <laughs> We know Dude, people on the Iowa side now too. I'm such a fucking dick bag. <laughs> Am I not? I I didn't mean to be, man. I'm embarrassed. It just comes natural. Don't worry about it. I'm embarrassed because you're on one. <laughs> I'm on one. I need to get back on one. <laughs> I'm becoming on. The, the, one. Be whiskey, the best really day awesome. was when you called back and me and Frank were together. I know. So we just had <laughs> double karma. We just, just fucked my own b hole. Call. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I'm actually sitting here. Uh, we're gonna have a meeting. I'm like, oh fuck. It's an intervention. Yeah. Listen, Kurt, <laughs> you're not as cool as you think you are. <laughs> All right. So from, from I'm, I'm just taking over. Go Let's ahead. Go. Don't yeah. you worry about. You got it. it. Just sit over there and drink your beer. Um, from triggered, we're going to. So that's gonna be the feed based attractant. Um, now we have a granular based attractant called Happy Hour Granular. Happy hour granular because we already have a happy hour liquid. Um, happy hour is still available in the liquid, but we went from the half gallon <laughs> to a full gallon. Thank you. You are the best model I've ever seen. Just Vanna White over here. Thank you. <laughs> so the the mineral granular attractant is what we want to do with that is if you're doing a mineral site, kind of like eating a donut. You like donuts, deer like mm. mineral. But if you put a little icing on top of that donut, you might want to eat that donut a little bit faster. I'm following you. That's what this happy hour granular is going to do. So it's also going to have that prebiotic in there that's going to help consumption and intake and want them to come back for more. And it also has the cherry rush flavoring to it. It's a topping on a donut. It's topping on a, It's like the sprinkles. It mm. looks mm. like sprinkles. Give it a taste, Doug. It, please. Doug, do it. Like taste it, please. Do it. Come on, get a dab. Lick your finger. Lick your finger Ooh. and then stick it in. Like Ooh. a fun dip. Berries taste yeah, like schnoz. It's like a fun Oh my dip. god, that was the tiniest little Dude, you don't even have a tongue. You're not get a it man. up in you. Ooh, he did Ooh. taste it. How was it? Ooh. That was a good that was a good chunk. Is it salty? Oh. Give me that damn thing. Is it salty and savory? Eric's going Look, in. Look, yeah, these two Sweet are they're battling off all year. <laughs> Who's gonna take the bigger Not part? for human consumption. <laughs> all right, Eric, let's get this. Dude, snort it, Eric. I dare you. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Oh. There. <laughs> no, God. Just take a drink. No. <laughs> Sprinkle some of that on your baked potato. It does smell good. I'm telling you. The Come on, Eric. Get a lick. I think oh. I'd put it on a baked potato. Bagel. No. Man, he took oh, a bagel. big charge Whoa. on it. Wow. Bagel and cream cheese with a little How bit. How is it? Whatever, I can see, I can see Man, black chunks finishing. on your tongue, bro. He's finished. <laughs> How is it? freaking out. How is it? It's not bad. Give me some. It'd be of this. good around a, like a margarita glass, you know. Dude, if we all die, shit, I'll lick it. <laughs> you do a strawberry margarita with that on the rim. <laughs> Can we do that? Mm. Can that be in the commercial? Hey, where's this buddy? Make Here's that much. Though. Oh, mine was way more than that, bro. Oh, I'm doing that. 
Oh, he lied to you. He didn't have any at all. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> There's something about it. It's not the worst. No. I'd come back for more. Hey, put a little <laughs> put a little in your bush light. Oh. There you go. Fancy beers. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's going for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that persimmon. <laughs> Is this going to kill me? No, it's no. not going to kill you. Do you know oh, that for oh, sure? Oh, that's a generous sprinkle. I don't know if for Get some sure, awesome. but I'm sure it's fine. You can't be the only host that didn't fucking taste it. I'm not going to put it in my bourbon, but I'll take a little dab on the finger. Believe in your brand, bro. Frank, you want some? No, I'm good, bro. Man, yeah, peer, right. nah, you see what they're right. doing, Frank? Frank like, you see no. this peer pressure? Yes. Dude, listen. If we do it, we're all doing it. I put some in my beer. Where you at, Doug? I like salt. I put it on my bagel and cream cheese. Dude, that's actually... I'd sprinkle a little bit of that on a bagel. Guaranteed. There's a weird aftertaste to it, right? It's pretty good. It's I got good. a little bit of cherry and a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. When I have a... It's not that in a beer. I'm not going to lie. I, it's it's kind of swelling up a little wanna, bit. You want to pose with that one? Yep. Protein. Dude, if I start glitching... How many peanuts have you ate out of the Protein Plus? A bunch. Oh, man. Mm. A bunch. Just not out of Protein sit, Plus, out of Platinum. Platinum, I mean. Actually, funny story on that. Just, Why is Eric going to be in the picture? Well, here, you want to take stay one? In Fuck there. you, Doug. I'll do the yeah. next one. That's because you're ugly. I'm here, I want shows and people are like, what are you doing? I'm like, eating. Want a peanut? <laughs> not bad. Honestly, I put some in All my right. bush light. Give me the lid. So oh. I'll spill this. Have you tasted your own brand, Joe? I've always tasted my Get it. Get another lick. Prove it. Prove it. Oh, oh shit. shit. Holy shit. That's oh, a full finger. Gosh. <laughs> Dude, we're idiots. Wow. <laughs> He's whole, made us look like Get a bitches. little bit of that Irish whiskey up there. Wow. Man, no, that I went to the bourbon. Oh. It's good. The bourbon. If you're doing good. a chaser with bourbon, that's well, pretty bad. Thanks for the gift, the Christmas gift of bourbons and nice Irish whiskey. It, yeah, thank it you. flows well into what we're going to talk about later. Okay. I okay. felt like yeah. I wanted to do that for you. I like that. So you well guys played. are killing it, man. Well you guys are killing it. This, you went, hey, you just, went knuckle deep there, Joe. I did. Yeah. Just so you know, though, <laughs> I, I told you we go all in or nothing. <laughs> you at all believe in, in your brand. <laughs> knuckle deep. The brand says big, bud, not little. I did not think I'd read this on a bag, but just so everyone knows, do not feed this to sheep. No. What's up with that? Uh, I will tell you, Kirk. What it says on oh, here? Okay. Okay. Product contains copper, which is toxic to sheep. Yes. Dude, fuck shit. Not man. humans. Good thing it's all right for humans. <laughs> I like to chew out a copper pipe every once in a while, you know? <laughs> We're all going to the hospital. <laughs> I don't even think what? there's a hospital close to this place, is there? No. No. Yeah, you'll die for you. You'll get time. airlifted. I had some big time on my lips. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got some in my teeth. <laughs> for the record, I actually put some in my bush light. And the first drink, I think I drank it all in the first drink. And you didn't slosh it up, did you? It's not bad. A lot of salt, a little bit of cherry. Hey, you can just leave that here. Dude, we'll dip margarita glasses in that it shit. Would be good. It would be good. <laughs> I'm a big fan, Joe. It's um yeah. impressive. I probably it's gonna keep on getting better as we go here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I like it. We got more to go through. More taste test. Dude, I can see the coffee. The I'm along for the ride. This is a good time. Doug, did you try that one? It's not often you get to Hand me that one. do dumb That's shit important. actively on air to prove to people that you're this dumb. Hey, you know what? It's kind of like one of them things. If you, if We're retarded, and we'll prove it. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't like to use the R word, but I'm retarded. <laughs> that one, not as good. A lot of chunks no, in that no. one. That one, not no. as good. Oh, Doug, did he? <laughs> Yeah, I Doug's it. actually Doug. chewing that one. <laughs> it tastes like Play-Doh. Yeah, this is something you feed to Steve and tell him it's it'll make him better. He'll keep a job if he eats this. Just try it. Nah, I can no, just tell that's not my hint. That's not my yeah. flavor. It's good. This yeah. def back tomorrow. Same time. That's definitely a grain based. This is grain based. You can smell yeah. the grain in it. You can it see the grain in it. There's corn in there. Eric, but, try it. Which there I love that smell. Um, you guys ever use corn soap? Corn, corn soap. soap. My grandpa used to make corn soap back in the day. Never heard of that one. Mm. That's fun. Okay. Speaking of grandpa's. <laughs> Play-Doh. Side note. Yeah, it tastes like Play-Doh. While we're in Indy for the ATA show, I'm going to go to the Indiana, or the Indiana State Police Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. My great uncle's moonshine still is in that. Museum, really? You guys want to go see it? Was he in Humphreys? Yeah, he's in Humphreys. Yeah. Another fun fact for you: hmm. the the property that Josh McDaniel killed Debo on last year mm -hmm. was where they confiscated that moonshine still from. Are you kidding? It's like literally very, very. I haven't been out there, but apparently it was really close to where very Josh. Josh's stand was. 
no on, kidding. On that property, yeah. Dude, I got to get Josh on the podcast schedule. I've been meaning to call him, and that's he's harder I'm... to get a hold of than you are, man. That makes you feel good. I know what call you really Kristen. want to do. Call Kristen. I'll call Chris. You really want to go get your moonshine back? One of them got a new number. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, like like conveniently. Apparently, when they were destroying moonshine stills and everything, they came across this one. Said it was too beautiful to destroy, so they put it in the museum. Wow! And it's my hmm. great uncle's still. It's not that far, great Gotta uncle. Go see it. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. All right, Joe. Bring us on the next big time adventure here. The next big time. Okay, so we're doing really good on time. So it's like we're actually yeah. being pretty effective with our um, fucketry. We had to do a taste um, test. Taste test. So Daryl, ironically, whose last name is Cherry has been really jacked up about going after this next product for a mm-hmm. couple years. And I'm not going to say I blew him off for a couple years. You doubted him. No, I never doubt Daryl. I know, I know. Never, never doubt Daryl. But it was one of those like, yeah, I don't know, man. You're kind of reaching on this one. I don't know. And then he made it happen. <laughs> behind <laughs> your back. Behind your back. <laughs> and then, then we started sending out some people to have them try it out. And people were going nuts over it. And get a phone call. Weird. I. You also haven't killed the buck. Ooh. Oh, oh. I, I would. I would if I had that. <laughs> I might keep this here. If you kill one tomorrow with this, because I'm going here. tomorrow. Hey, mm. you're gonna have to leave that. All right. So this is a cherry rush <laughs> scent stick. All right. Ch- so, say it again. Say it again. again. Cherry rush scent stick. Okay. So our flavoring, the literal flavoring that's in the feed, we put into a wax stick. So there's a lot of different wax smells you can rub on the trees out there. It doesn't rub off in, you know, in rain or anything. It's going to stick there. Mm-hmm. So the the basis of that is it's super, super concentrated. I'll pass this one around, too. Okay, can I can, – let me get – I want that bag. I want to hold a bag. You want that bag? The rest of the guys got to hold a bag. I want this little bag. I mean, I don't even need to pass this thing. I you can smell it in the whole room. Yeah. I want to hold a bag. Doug, take a bite out of it. Make it look Eric, like take a, a picture of me with this bag. Put it in the stash. Ooh. Why is there a hair on it already? Because you rubbed it in your stash yeah. already. Do I look good with this I mean, bag? It that... does. Hold on. Though. Oh, nice camera cover. Yep. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of ruined the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get it. It's in a there. bag. Give me this, dude. Do you take a bite out of it? Oh. So Kurt, Did you like it? Kurt, you should be excited about this as much as I am because I get to I get to you know mess around with all this big time stuff, but don't get to use half of it. You know, I know, so, I know. So this is in our realm right here. Smell the bag. You know, this is going to be um, oh, up to. God damn, that smells good. It's going to be up it's, to it's us. It's literally the same. Can same. you put this on your skin? <sighs> Do it. I try, I try your rubber Rub boots first. Too your, soon. Put on your soon. tattoo. See what it does. I'd put it on your lips. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm, that's gonna smell like cherries for like for weeks. It, it, well, the the basis here is scent association. So if they've been eating big time, Indiana, Where as we talked it? about so many times before, yeah, you know we have to take it away. You but what about Illinois? What Illinois that's was what I mean. we're, gonna See, we're gonna be we're gonna be huge. In that's it. what yeah. we've been talking about. You know, it's like what if we haven't put anything out and how are you gonna react? That, to it? Yeah, does that. Does it attract it? That's that's very Pulling. interesting to me. Where you guys can't use it, obviously your deer have never smelled cherry rush. It's legal to put on a tree because it's not consumable. Yes. I want to see what these deer do in Illinois when they smell that for the first time. Okay. Here's what I'll do. I mm-hmm. got an idea. Hit us I got with a, it. I got a cool idea, actually. Take so we got Lee, the cult leader, a friend, he runs a very successful cult. Uh, may or may, <laughs> may or may not be a sex cult. That's out for everybody else to decide. We're still figuring it out. <laughs> All cults are sex cults. <laughs> Doug's been in a couple. Well, that's he my can neither Have confirm nor deny. deny. That's my theory. Well, least. we're not sure. <laughs> Bold statement from a guy who doesn't know a lot about cults. <laughs> so I know Lee, nothing. Lee seems like a good dude. I'm pretty sure it's not a sex cult, but <laughs> we don't know. We'll see. How well do we know? But he came out and. <laughs> We joke around with Lee about that, but the dude is a killer. There's definitely a mustache hair on this. And he came out and did some of the rope scrapes this That's summer. We did some mustache. videos. We did the viral like the viral dad shoe video of him doing the rope cult scrape. Well, I think if I could do a cult scrape of that version and put that stick on the rope, 
I think it doesn't get more direct as in like how would do deer react to this or not react to it. So if we put up six scrapes and three of them have it and three of them don't in an area in Illinois where they've never smelled cherry rush, if they're not hitting the three, then we'll know they're they're not comfortable with it because they've never been around it. Should be a good then, test. Well, I then wouldn't. you can make a soap on the rope, and then you won't have to worry about doing anything. Just hang the rope. <laughs> soap on a rope. All right. We'll go. <laughs> <laughs> we went from a scent stick to a soap on. So a rope. we'll do that, and then if it works, we'll call the the scrape the the scrape product. You guys will have soap on a rope. I like it. Like no, I. I mean, it's going to be cool. It'd be really interesting kinda, to see. Kind of playing around with you guys in Illinois. It'd be like, you know, they've never had it before. They're, they shouldn't have had it. It would be fun to try it on. Like a rope, would you? Would a rope scrape be the best thing to I try think, it on? It'd be, it'd be I, a I good way would, to try it. But I don't think I would I would exactly put on a scrape because they're 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 looking to rub their preorbital glands. And, That's true. You know, stuff like That's that. And, you know, it'd be weird that... Nobody wants their preorbital some, glands smell like smell cherries. Smell like cherries, you know? So. That's but a good maybe, point. But I mean, I mean, you can do the same thing just without the, you know, the scrape effect. You know, just hang it over a tree. You know, I don't know if you're going to have does over there just like sucking on the rope or what. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. We all want to go sucking on the rope. Well, we could do a mix oh. of... We could do one on a rope scrape, Whoa. one on a tree, one on... I don't know. I where I would see it having a value is placing deer. Like if you're in a stand and you're worried about a deer getting downwind, you could place it 20 yards away to kind of cur- curve the deer around your scent to get them to go where they wouldn't normally go. Kind of oh. bring them, funnel them around your scent. I, I think it's going to be an interesting curiosity scent for you guys because it's so sweet. It's almost like I've got to go check that out. I will be honest, Joe. That one. Kind of and gets onto my vibe of no sin at all, and I it's the same thing I said to some other scent companies in the past of like I'm a little uncomfortable with it because one my deer aren't familiar with that smell yeah but and but the deer that I hunt are pretty really no synthetic smell at all right is that the right word yeah they're not used to any synthetic smell so it'll be interesting to try it in spots to see how deer actually sure. rely on it because it's like i'm i'm not gonna do something like this for a dude i don't know like with you i'm like i'll try it because i'm curious because you believe in it i want to try it and i have no I, like in this situation i have no idea it'd be fun it's gonna so, be fun like to see. i i have it's it's nothing. a no yeah it's a no-brainer with the people of you know that feed Nine months out of the year. Yeah. I mean, it's a no-brainer, yeah. literally. Put it all over your boot. You're probably going to have that fall. Say, so put a little bit on your boots. Walk, literally, literally follow you in. I mean, yeah. we've, you know, we've done some. Uh, Here's what I would do. In Kansas, and we literally had deer following us. See, that's badass. If, if I was an Iowa boy, I'd put it on my boots. Before I put my supplemental feet out in the summer, I'm, I would put it on the ground and then put the feet on top of it and then put it by the tree by the feet. Yeah. You know, keep them like associated with that and the smell and all that i don't know it's cool i want to use it as the owner if you want to know the truth it <laughs> every, every day get it. good even when you're not hunting it's like well it's on my hand i was gonna say it's ingrained in my nostrils but <laughs> i put it on my that's wrist. just on my hand <laughs> i like it okay no, that's exciting it, it came out i i was so it's all bougie over here not that i ever doubt good. my boy but the way that came out i was very excited about that like I'm pretty excited about that. Attention. So when Daryl first pitched that, you were like, not going to, no. no. I mean, I, you know, when me and Daryl first started working together, I was like, dude, just get creative, do what you want to do. And it wasn't that it, I didn't think we should do it. It was like, eh, you know, we were getting into the food plots a lot heavier at that time. I'm like, I don't know if it's the right time. But then he just kind of rolled with it and brought it to him. Like, Good that, timing. That's badass. Mm-hmm. I mean, as, as far as. With 2023 being the year of the attractants for us, that's perfect. Yep. yep. I'll have that. I'm a fan. I'll take that. I'm a fan. Be fun to you. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Can you leave that with us? No. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you bring more? There's only... So, this is like... Small samples. You said people tested already. Yeah, Joe. So we're more. doing late yeah. season hunting right now. We need Can to Can I shave a thin layer off the top and then use it tomorrow? Put it in a little baggie. If it means you beating Doug at this Ooh. point, because at this, like at this point Doug's just pissing me off in the podcast, <laughs> I, I've converted over to Team Eric. Hell yeah! Even even though we're, we're like 
Ooh, look like at the, you're look in the at bottom the of the ninth. If anybody could hours. see the stare down right now that Doug's giving Joe, <laughs> damn, <Piece of> shit, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, we we might have to work something out. Hey. Ooh. All right, <laughs> loser. <laughs> the chip me. battle continues. Who will win? Who will lose? I'll let you put some of that on your chip. Will it be a cherry flavored chip? Damn, stick it in your Just ass. Wax. Cold as ice. <laughs> stick it in your ass. <laughs> Doesn't help at all. <laughs> Cold as ice. Just wax. <laughs> Cold I'll put some blood. happy hour on that chip. Cold blood. Yeah, yeah. No, next year there's no chip. There's you. Each of one of you guys is pulling a line of that. No. Yeah. I do that on a drunk night. That's not that's oh, bad. <laughs> Just a regular Thursday. I'd do it right. dude, I would, that's a Tuesday night, bro. <laughs> do that half in the bag. Yeah. No, I would eat a whole bag of those chips before I'd do that. Okay. Oh. All right, Joe. What else we got, man? We're just chipping on the line. It's a marketing just, meeting right now. Just rolling away. So we, we added to, we did the cherry on top. Was it last year or two years ago where we started that? Two years, two years ago, I think. Two years ago. So with we, we started the corn coating, called it cherry on top. I like that. So the guys are just using straight corn. Fine. It's great. If you want a little extra attraction, I mean, the the container's one pound. It'll treat 200 pounds of corn. So if you're pouring a 50-pound bag out, you just take two scoops and Perfect. put it over the top of it. You got extra attraction. Yeah. We added a flavor to that. We named it Orange Zing. I like zing. The name. I like the word zing. Well, that's a big time in the that bottom of that. I, I like, like it. I like like zingers. Ooh. Wasn't zingers like a candy back in the day? Yeah. Get some in the teeth. Yeah. You got a rock in there. Zing zing. <laughs> <laughs> Gritty. So so we added that flavor. Nice. Um, we kind of revamped the the feed block that we have. So there's a lot more grain in there. It's a it's a true compressed. Our our fortified deer blend. It's a true compression of that now. In a 20 pound block. Okay. So there's a lot more corn, sunflowers, and Milo. You can see it all in there. It's really compacted. A lot of molasses. You got a sweet, sweet smell. It's got the cherry rose flavoring and it has the nitro mineral. Love so it. we, we kind of went through and just redid that and gave it that true fortified deer blend feel to it. Mm-hmm. It's going to last a whole lot longer. So I brought a bunch for you guys as soon as season's over with in Iowa. You guys can get that back out. Hell yeah. And Hell. awesome. Sick. Gosh, I wish I could use it. Not you, Frank. <laughs> yeah. Not you. Oh, try, look. I mean, I have to deal with it. When when is it gonna fucking change in the off season? I'm not saying know. in season. Off it's, season. Our our first podcast was when they were voting on it. In the I know I had high hopes. Apparently, they didn't listen. Piece of shit governor just didn't sign it. The off season. The I mean, off we, we can season. Shoot, just like Iowa. We can shoot <sighs> rifles now. After yeah, what are we doing? January There's one? double barrel fucking crossbows out there. It, it, at the at blind point, are killing deer at this point. If, if your argument is <laughs> CWD or EHD, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's I didn't mean up. that. <laughs> uh, okay, I went a little farther. You're, you're too much on one I'm now. On one. He's on one. He's on one. I'm now off one. I hey, apologize. Hey, more happy hour. More happy hour. <laughs> Give me a line. Hey, don't, you, hey, don't get me started because I have to work with this and see all dude, this fun stuff. I'm and I'm over in the food plot world, you know. Dude, I can imagine you're in the depths. Dude, I'm mowing 300 acres of corn in. Joking, you know, and I Let, let's it. talk about it. now. I'm uh, on dude, I know. first of all, Joe, first of all, I'm, on I'm all about everybody hunting except the blind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah. What, a, what a weird thing to be against. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Well, valid point. I yeah. mentioned the blind, the blind are out there killing deer. Yeah, bust their hearts, man. Um, well, yeah. anyways, that's a good point, though. Sorry, Nick. Go ahead, oh. make your point again. I it rudely interrupted. I'm, I'm no, it's just, uh, you know, I mean, Iowa, Indiana, Missouri. I mean, I'm 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 around the Quincy area, so I mean, I'm literally, I mean, I can tell you stories of. So we're really good friends with the C, the head CPO of our area, mm-hmm. and I would have literally pallets of feed in my garage going to a couple friends in Missouri, and my wife's is like, "Hey, Eric's going to come over and get." We, we gave him a bed. I think they we gave him a. Just a bed for one of their kids. Yeah, and uh, did you, know, you use that bed? Oh, uh-huh. did, did I? Did you use that? Bed? No, I did not. It's a children's bed. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't give it to a child if he used it. <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he comes, I'm, like, I'm like, oh yeah, I was like, things have happened. You know, Eric's gonna come over. No big deal. And, and you know, I said, yeah, just tell him it's in the garage. You know, and I got to thinking. I'm like, holy shit. The head CPO of our entire area is walking to my house, and there's a bed leaning against four 
ton of big time. This oh. looks great, you know. <laughs> the good thing I had like an invoice and stuff was you could see the guy's name. He obviously asked me about it. He's like, uh, what was that in your garage, Nick? I was like, oh, uh, you're getting a free bed and shut yeah, I'm like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, but no, it, it was funny. I mean, I'm like literally five minutes from Missouri, so yeah, yeah, it does kind of make it nice. But I mean, having to deal with like you know, going to shows and telling everyone about all of our product and um, trying to sell it and they're like, wow, well, I can't use it, but I here it's really awesome. I can't use it, yeah. but um, I mow corn. And they're like, well, how can you do that? Mowing corn is, is legal? That, 100%. It is. And I actually, Eric, we had this illegal. conversation. No. I, I contacted a game ward in Iowa, and he said it's legal there, too. Oh, no 100%. kidding. 100%. Yeah. You, you can mow you can corn, corn in Illinois? I can, yep. I can take a 300 bushel acre, 300 acre cornfield and mow it. Mow the entire thing. It looks like you dumped... And that cool. is oh. deadly. I thought I thought mowing corn was illegal for waterfowl. waterfowl. It is waterfowl. If if I hunted a goose over anywhere even oh, close, oh, so you can mow it. You just deer. can't waterfowl hunt over exactly. it. Exactly. Or oh, I didn't. Um, doves. It's you, such a gray doves. area. What the fuck? What are we doing? But yeah, that's what's Illinois, frustrating but. about a product like this when you have something that like this that you can see. I mean, you drive thirty minutes into Iowa for me, and you can see it working. And in the off season, when it's cold and these animals actually need it, need it. and you and you can't use it to help your herd, that's what's frustrating for me. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I don't feel like when I see you guys get trail camera pictures and velvet, I'm like, man, I oh, wish we could do something like that, you yeah. know. And then, you know, I don't, re- you know, I don't get my the- good, I don't get my good pictures until October because then natural know, movement. It, well, that and scrapes, scrapes, I mean, everything goes on a scrape. Natural movement, yeah. scrape, you know. Yep. But then. Once it starts getting brutal cold, like we're going to get here in the next couple of weeks, and it gets to the point where it's like survival, does are pregnant, it comes to a survival nutrition thing. You want to help them out as much as possible. It, it almost, at certain points, you know, a couple of years ago, we got that negative 30-something degrees for a, a couple of weeks and freezing rain and deer were getting frozen whole. It kind of brings you to the point of like, and, and I didn't do this, but it brings you to the mindset of kind of like, a little bit of like fuck the law on this. It's an ethical decision. Yeah. What's the most ethical choice here? Yeah. It's like pay the fine. You're looking out for the ethics and survival and care of animals that are in these brutal conditions. Of course, we're abiding by the law, and you're finding de- deer dead. Yeah. yeah. But at frozen what, solid. Dead. But at what point do you say yeah. fuck this? Or we're we're going to feed them. Well, the the best. It's, thing it's is, an unpopular well, opinion to say, and not all people are going to say that. But like, where does it weigh in and weigh out? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, you know? Know, people go back to like the cost. Oh, you know. Well, just you know, the guy that's going to you know, you get into the argument of it. It's like, well, the guy that can you know just buy feed. Well, yeah. Try to try to grow corn. I mean, you know, <laughs> right, right. It's like <laughs> minimum like three hundred dollars an acre. Just at bare minimum, without like a whole lot of fertilizer or your time or diesel or anything else. Yeah, yeah. Three hundred pays for your cash rent nowadays. Okay, so. yeah. Here's and a good so, point. I mean, you you put that much money into. It. I mean, so you know, if we put, I'll say five ten acres. I mean, you got five six thousand dollars in it. You know how much fucking big time I can buy for five or six thousand dollars? Well, let's lay this a out. Bunch. So when it gets freezing, rigid cold, like it's gonna get in the next month, we'll just say, <laughs> and you have standing corn. And you're like, deer are going to need this. I'm going to go mow it and make it easier for them. You can legally do that during the season. Yeah. And they are lazy. I mean, a deer is lazy. I mean, they'll, yes, they'll eat standing corn. And it's great for, you know, they we kind of use it as a buffer and stuff cover like that. And cover. Whatnot. And, you know, they'll they'll eat it off the cob. They are If you mow it. So if I'm going to hunt Saturday, Thursday afternoon, I'm mowing. Because they can smell. They can smell yeah. a mowed cornfield. from. It's no different miles. than a freshly harvested Harvest cornfield. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you go in and, and cut a cornfield and go in there and hunt it a night, two nights later. I mean, it's never going to get any better than that. I thought I, I legitimately thought mowing corn was illegal. I thought so, too. Nope, 100%. So, I've hunted mowed cornfields in Illinois before. <laughs> it, I did it every year. Yeah. I did it so, why, what, dude, if I was a farmer, I would harvest in rows with my sieve and chaffer fucking on zero, bro, and just spit <laughs> gold out the back. Open her up, boys. You can't, you can't actually do that. <laughs> or buy a gleaner. Oh, you, you can't. You cannot actually do that. I had my combine if set were, wrong. I didn't know it. Okay, yep. well, you're going to find me? Exactly. But you can't. I, I, you can't. I bought a gleaner. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. You're going to find, find just having a gleaner. Bought a silver combine, the blue glass. I couldn't see my losses. I wrecked into a fucking hedge tree at the end row. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't actually, you, um, you can't throw it out the back of a combine. 
you have to harvest. But there's losses and, and, okay. in a combine. Yeah. And here's another one for you. You can hunt over an accidental spill, okay? You can. So, yeah. yeah. So if you are uh, dumping on a grain cart on the go and you spill some, it's legal to set a ground blind up and hunt over that accidental Are you fucking spill. kidding me? So yeah. as long as you say, oops, and every time it, you do it, it you're button. okay? Yeah, if it's an accidental spill, you can hunt over it. See, it's the, is the way that these I things, understand it. Yeah. These are things we can't that do right in Indiana. Gray. Oh, you can't do that in no, Indiana? No, we can't mow in Indiana. But, you can but we can supplemental feed outside of season. But you can't bait. We, we can't bait in Indiana. You can't no. feed you, during you have season. To, you have to remove the feed or any soil that's had contact with the feed okay. prior to hunting. So if you have a mineral site, you have to dig out the minerals. You have to dig or out the cover it. site. But no, you have to dig it out. Oh, Iowa, you can cover it, right? Like with three no. foot of a... Like a tarp. Yeah, it's you're a, supposed no. to dig it out. Now, no, they'll, correct they'll, me if I'm wrong. Like with, with the feeders, you can leave your feeders out there all year round, but you can't hunt within like, what is it? hundred. A hundred yards yeah. of it or 200 like yards or whatever it and is. You have to thing, be a certain like, distance away from your feeder if you leave it out all it's, season It's long. such See, a gray area with how all that shit works, Indiana especially too. in Iowa, because like in Iowa, it used to say too that like if you had a mineral site out, you put feet out, you got to dig so far down. See, Indiana's never said how far you need to dig down. They just said remove the soil. Yeah. And that's where which people is, were put, which is weird. We're putting <laughs> what, the mineral. What are we doing? Putting yeah. mineral on top of tarps or a piece of plywood. I think what we're doing is illustrating how gray state by state these arguments are. Like, I mean, what what are you going to do? Like, if you're going to determine what's legal and what's not, let's let's make the same yeah. laws for everybody. So it's so everybody's on I, the same I page. Think, gray it's gray area. Wild. I think, I think they stuff. keep it gray because it's such a situational deal. It is. You know, it's because. Indiana, technically, we can feed during season as long as you're not hunting over it. But there's no distance that they've ever said, okay, 100 yards, 200 yards. There is, there's none of that. Yep. But it, it's up to the discretion of the officer that's looking at the situation. Right, and that's the thing. And like, I, Which is a messed up deal. I've asked DNR, too, like how the feeding works because it's so gray in the book. And you know they just send you the same article. They won't give you a straight answer. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of them are afraid to. We got another Illinois boy. Todd's coming in on this feed debate right now. What's oh, up, yeah. Todd? How's, How's it going? going? Hi, Todd. Hey, Todd. How's it going? So, Todd, you've met Frank from Novix. I know Frank. Joe from Big Time. Nick How's from going, Big Joe? Time. How's it going, Nick? And you know the rest of the gang. So, we're having a hot feed debate right now because you're an Illinois guy. Illinois guy. And we're bitching about not being able to supplemental feed. Huge bitch. Okay. So, huge bitch. That's huge yeah. bitch. So, we're talking. Did you know it was, it was legal to mow corn in Illinois? Well, you know what's funny is... Literally 15 minutes ago, I'm driving out here looking at Instagram. Somebody's talking about they got that stupid kid that's talking about corn. It's so great, whatever that song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's I a, love corn. Yeah, yeah that yeah. one. And dudes are mowing it down, and I'm going, oh boy, I hope a game warden doesn't see this. No, 100 percent no legal. Clue. So 100 no percent. Nick lives in Quincy area. Okay. And mows corn. I we I thought it was illegal. No, heck I did no. Too. It's just really expensive. Like I said, it. I mean, it's the I input mean, cost. Five. Is the insane. inputs are crazy, and then, and it's getting worse. Yeah, like I said, right, how right. much freaking pallets of big time I can buy and just, I mean, it's ridiculous. How do this many people in Illinois know you can't mow corn down? I, well, dude, I, I can't supplement it just feed, not just, like, I've never, it's it's not, I've never done it, but I think if you talk to two game wardens, you might get two different answers. No, it's, that's, it's, I think that's, that's the point we're bringing up. You. Yeah. That's where they fuck you and they want to fuck you. It's pretty much, yep. I mean, it. it's known in our, I'm so, so along with um, our farm, uh, we take care of and all the big time stuff is at... Um, all of our food plot stuff is down at what we call the gardener camp. It's mm. a youth camp. It's a youth hunting camp. We literally take out kids on an awesome 350, it's like 500 acres now, of the Mississippi bottoms. And we will mow corn down there I mean, because we we have a lot of it. Yeah. I mean, we so once duck season and goose season and stuff's over, we don't have any more waterfowl hunting. All of our duck pits, we actually will drain them, and we have – hunting everywhere around there mm -hmm. and uh uh we'll have standing corn standing beans these deer we'll mow it within i mean and we'll have like maybe 10 15 deer hitting the hitting a 20 acre food plot or something or corn and beans mm -hmm. to in the later part of the season that last couple of weeks of you know january we will we'll mow corn 
And you can sit there and 60, 70 deer will be coming off the river, over the levee, coming from the Mississippi, running to it. And they haven't been. Really? I mean, it, it, I have film of it. It's unreal. They'll yeah, be they'll coming from it. two miles down, down the river. Baiting. It is. <laughs> it, and it's, I mean, they will be coming. It's unreal. We'll have 60 deer in front of us on a 10 acre. Boot. It's the Illinois loophole. Yeah. Here's the thing. Why can't we, what, the, what are we doing? <laughs> That's exactly it. What the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? Circles. At least let us circles. crop circles. Supplemental feed in circles. the opposite. Yeah, it's crop circles. Aliens, bro. That's Literally. what we got. It just. But here's the thing, though. Out of our crew, we, what do we got? Two Illinois boys. One Indiana well, boy. Three, three now that Todd's here. Well, our, our two Iowa boys. I mean, well, two and a half. Hey, count awesome. me as a half. Yeah. Yeah. We're still killing deer before you guys. So, so <laughs> Todd, you got anything to say? <laughs> I'm, tagged, I'm tagged out. Oh. I don't know about you, Kurt. But my uh, guy, I've my been God. done in a while. What Moving about? on. <laughs> Moving on. Hey, you know what? I, I do have a theory on it, and I think it is, and it's a debatable theory. It's probably wrong. It's mostly to talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. Your theory was it's to talk shit. Okay. <laughs> We were getting deer on natural movements, and we're finding them on what they're doing, and then you guys are finding them. He's on gonna say he's a better feed. hunter. No, I never said that. Say. I never said that. I'm just saying we suffer with not getting as good of trail cam pictures until season opens, and then your boys are knocking them over. Hey, I think right there is our. But yeah, that, that, that right to... there is our camera. That is our trail camera. That's a stick. What do you think of that? <laughs> Shut up, Doug. <laughs> just coming to perfume for oh, my, yeah. my fiance. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's, I'm, it smells good. Put some glitter on that, dude, yeah. and call it a body spray. You ought to say, though, 90% of Doug and I hunting, we can't run cameras or anything there. That's true, but... You can't run cameras where? I'm with you, though. It's all... Preach, Todd. Well, it's like, so... <laughs> One of the guys that I really respect in the game is Bill Winky, right? And he's like, if you want to inventory your deer, put a pile of corn out or feed or whatever after oh, the season, 100%. you're going to know everything that's left, right? We can't do that in Illinois. Concentrate the sheds. Keep your deer as as low movement. Like, give them an area that you go in, you give them some food, you give them whatever they need to get through that hard winter time. They're going to be in better shape come out the next year, mm -hmm. but we can't do that in Illinois. So I've got deer that are picking through 10 inches of snow in February trying to scrounge for three beans. You know, I'd love to go out there and pour 300 pounds of whatever that's going to help them. Yeah, yeah. But we can't. 300 do that. pounds of big time. Big time. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Right? You see, yeah, you see weather. <laughs> I mean, we've got seven days of harsh shit coming in right now. How how nice would it be to be able to go out and, and feed if we could? Especially and help come them out. Especially yeah. coming off off the rut. I mean, these deer. I mean, if you've you know you can have a you know pre deer or pre rut you know deer looks like a five six year old mature deer. <laughs> right now he looks three and a half. Yo, yeah, and then he's gonna go into sub zero temperatures. With Dude, it's half just of his what body they fat. go through is so crazy, and it just blows my mind. Like Indiana touches Ohio. Ohio dudes have been putting out piles of big time and deer corn. <laughs> from the local supply store. I love the yeah. deer corn. Yeah, deer corn, right? <laughs> All fucking year, and they haven't stopped. And, and I'm not necessarily saying I'm like for baiting or against baiting. That's a sure. different debate. But what the fuck is the difference? Because a state doesn't know, or a deer doesn't know the what line state from in? Indiana to Ohio, and there's deer that go from Indiana to Illinois all up and down that line. And you can do supplemental feed in the summer, and then you can in the other, and they're Dude, we have deer that swim across the river. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, the most of the big bucks that get killed in Iowa are Illinois deer that swam the river. river. Oh, you yeah. didn't know that? They, That's a fact. They what? come over for the big the, the big deer come from Illinois and swim across into Iowa. They, they smell rush. the cherry <laughs> they, smell they smell it. Like, dude, we're getting out of this shit-ass state. Dude, a lot of them barge hop, if you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, the Perina barge well, I mean, have, home. Have, Me and Eric just port big I mean, you guys, are, you guys are on the river. I mean, we we get giants killed on the islands of our rivers. I'm, oh, the sorry. islands hold giants. Yeah. Big carp-fed oh, islands, are man. Crazy. Some of them are private, and 
it's but most of them are around us are all public and, public yeah you know, most of them are here too. sorry kyle you're probably hearing this and he kills it's a rumor every year todd you ever hear the big, big rumors the big mississippi island Poor bucks out. that get Poor killed and, but then it's like who the fuck knows any of these dudes they're all <laughs> mythical beings i don't know anybody <laughs> around here that's it's like oh dude you're the dude that kills all the giants you're the island talking boy? About? Yeah. <laughs> he's a island boy he's a, he's a island <laughs> oh dude i'm telling you those guys and they're intense too they're four o'clock in the morning boat ride well yeah look fuck, at the effort it takes to know. get out there you know yeah, nobody wants to do that three days a year and if they don't kill one they're yeah they're good oh these guys do it day in day out they're river rats and they mm -hmm. are hard i respect the river dudes. rat dudes they are hardcore dudes i knew a dude that used to take a boat ride for like 20 minutes get in walk 100 yards get in a canoe and canoe up a far and he'd kill big deer every you day. ain't shit if you ain't got a p rogue a what a p rogue I don't know what that. Is. I don't even know what you're saying. It's right a canoe. A P, it's a little bitty canoe. It's a canoe in P, Joe's P Road. Joe's World. P Rogue. P Rogue. Louis, it's Louisiana. It's not even West Terre Haute. P Rogue. Whatever. P Rogue. All right. P Rogue. Joe, we got P -Rogue. one more thing to announce, right, well, and, then we, can, is, and then we can go on our tirade. Jesus. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is what you can apply in Illinois. Yes. And yes. we're extremely excited about. It. This is going to be huge. Uh, huge. <laughs> huge. <laughs> huge. 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 <laughs> This is going to be um, on the website only. So the WCB discount will apply to it. I love it. So we're going to roll out a program in 2023. Thank you. I'll drum, you got a drum roll on there? That was not a drum. You don't have a drum roll? No. <laughs> not that. No. No. Yeah, that, you missed it. That, there we go. There we go. All right. So this program... Is gonna be. <laughs> I didn't have the right button set up. All right, Jesus. Uh, we we set together, up Kurt. a program called BYOB, and that stands for Build Your Own Blend, mm. because we have all the shit talkers that think they can build a better food plot blend than we have already on the market. Mm -hmm. okay. Love it. Tell now me you, more. Tell now me more. you can prove it. So if the BYOB BYOB stands for Build Your Own Blend. Mm. Love it. So, like, if, if you're buying a a bag of foundation clover mm -hmm. and you say, you know what? Yeah, I want a clover plot, but I want some radishes in there. You can buy a pound of radishes to go in with your clover. Right. And Interesting. Just build your own blend. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, so it, it can be an add-on, or you could literally just say, okay, I've got three quarters of an acre. I'm going to make my own because I know better than – than the big time guys. This is how I want to build. This. It's what I want to do specifically. Yeah. So I on, think we all think that. On top of that, <laughs> we are going to have within the. <laughs> it's like all right, thanks, Doug. <laughs> hey, Doug, can you just leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doug. He's me making a plug, Doug. I I did the rest of the interrupting. Doug, get, Doug you made me a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't get you a turkey. Yeah, exactly. Butterball. I, never in my life have I seen. A person walked two feet on a reap and the turkey <laughs> disappears. Didn't even get Only Doug. Hey. Only I, Doug. We didn't have that issue, did we, Joe? No. no, not at all. We walked right out. The same spot that he scared the turkey off. I think it was, I think the, it was the same, same bird. bird. Same bird. Again, wasn't invited, so. Hey, Eric, Eric. You don't even like turkey. Yeah, like you're going <laughs> to. That's like why you've never been invited for anyways. turkey camp because you hate turkey. <laughs> I don't even drive to my own field of turkey hunt. I, 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 Indiana for the record, backyard. I've asked Eric before. He's like, I fucking hate turkeys. Yeah. I'm not driving. Well, I'm not asking anything. He hangs with up. a passion, okay. too. I fucking hate I would B come hang hey, out with you. BYOB. BYOB. <laughs> so you can either add to an existing blend that we have or you can make your own. So your ops, and they're going to come in one pound. Uh, increments on any of these blends that we have or yep. any of the seeds that we have. So your options are crimson clover, purple top turnips, radish, chicory, forge kale, or trophy rapeseed. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a lot more seeds out there that we could add to, but that's kind of what we wanted to start with. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, if we have more questions about, well, why don't you have this or that or this? I mean, we had to start somewhere. Right. You well, know, add more when needed. Right. And we might add, you know, once we have established this program, then we'll probably add three, four, five more seeds for next year. Mm -hmm. Carrots. But on it within the website, when you go to your, your shopping for food plot, we will have an additional page called the BYOB WCB mix chart so it's going to look like a 
bar menu. I love it already. So I went to everyone. There's no wrong answer here. I went to everyone within WCB. All you guys. I got Clint in there. I got Ross in there. And I had you guys pick out your top four picks. Since Eric doesn't know, what was your term? Mm, I, I don't know. I believe it was, I don't know shit about fuck. Yeah, I don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> or was it the other way around? No, I, I, I can't I don't remember. know shit about fuck. That Scientific was is what that is. So, so he had some help. Okay, but, damn so, near, you're a biologist, dude. I am now. <laughs> shit about fuck is a biology term. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you guys created okay. your own blends. Yes. So this is going to be available on the website. So if someone wants to use the Eric blend, the Kurt blend, the Doug blend, the Lord's blend. Now, hang on. You need to say the yeah, names. Yeah, the names. I want you to get in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I, I'm gonna, I thought, you were, I thought the, you were bypassed. No, 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 no. Let the fucking guy talk. Jesus. I'm going to. Now you got to. Austin interrupting. Yeah. Damn. I'm not interrupting. He's I'm just making sure you weren't going to bypass the best part. No, no, no. So, so you guys all picked your blends, and I compiled all of them, and we'll have them. They'll have their own like item number. So you can say, I want Kurt's blend. But it's going to be on like a bar chart. And you can pick that, put it in your cart, and buy it. Also available with the WCB discount code. So Kurt's blend is titled Kirk's Co- Cocktail. Kirk's? Kurt, Kirk's. Co- you, you fucked it up. It's Kirk's Cocktail. I really cocktail. did. Kurt's Cocktail. <laughs> I can't talk. It's a mouthful. <laughs> Kirk's. Kurt's. Cock. Kurt's. Tail. Cocktail. So you're going to mm. have radish, chicory, Forge kale and crimson clover. I think and it's it, a pretty good blend. Probably the best. I, again, there's no wrong answer. Yeah, I'm giving my opinion. But you are tagged out, so maybe there's something to that. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. I'm on the button. <laughs> and and by know. the way, these all kind of come out to be about a half acre. So, okay. so by five. Yeah, by five <laughs> for a half acre. So Eric's is going to be named Heyman's Haven. Mm. Sounds delicious. I'm glad, I'm glad Hammond, you didn't by the way. that one. Sounds Turnip? like a mayonnaise. Hammond's. Heyman <laughs> sounds way better. It's Hammond, by the way. <laughs> I call him Heyman. Hoffman. <laughs> Heyman's Hoffman. Every time I call him, about. he goes, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> it, it's it's just ingrained in my brain. It's okay. Hey, I forgive man. you. We got our we got our partners too drunk on our own show <laughs> where they can't pitch our own promotion. Dude, I honestly <laughs> can't remember Eric's last name. I've known him for seven years. Hey, man, Hammond. It's it's, it's always going to be Heyman to me. That's fine. It's just the way it I've is. heard it every every way possible. <laughs> Heyman's Haven sounds a whole lot better. Okay, I agree. So turnip, rape, chicory, and crimson clover. That's the that, that's fuck up your first name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your name. Uh, Doug, we had a little problem with Doug. Because when I asked him, uh-huh. he wanted it to be the entire thing to be rape. No, I didn't. <laughs> He's such a liar. I'm like, dude, I, we're, we're not doing that. <laughs> wrong. He's like, what's wrong with all rape all the time? The and I'm like, say no. So, <laughs> yeah, they, they can't say no. It's actually a great marketing play. <laughs> Dear, can't say no. Four times the rape. <laughs> Oh, it's just fucking. a half acre of rape. So God, we're getting canceled. So oh, if the woke yeah. community ever gets into hunting, we're yeah. the first motherfuckers to hit the dirt. <laughs> we just triggered him. <laughs> oh yeah, just triggered, triggered. <laughs> Bring yeah. it out. Bring it. So Bring we named it. it the stash, and I worked with him a little bit. We did some negotiating. His is going to be turnip, rape, forage, kale, and radish. At least there's rape in it. What What I'd like to do is have a a facial hair comb. <laughs> With every order sold of the stash. Oh. Signed like a by little you. wooden one? Signed by Doug. I don't know if we can afford that. <laughs> plastic. <laughs> yeah, the little. Plastic. The Plastic's little, We're going to go cheap on that. <laughs> yeah, plastic. Like home, yeah, that plastic. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be the mo- biggest seller, though. in the bag. You got to find it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> feel like it's a like cereal a box. <laughs> yeah, it's a cereal box with a toy in it. Deer <laughs> just choking on little plastic combs across the country. <laughs> it's a terrible and idea. Thing, it's going to be like the straws. We can't use plastic combs and deer blends yeah. anymore. Yeah, save the fucking Whoops. dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Save the deer from choking on combs. <laughs> that was our bad. <laughs> Doug. It's a good idea on paper. <coughs> it's 
Got worked yeah, out. Man. Todd just joined this. Todd's He's like, like, what, what the, the fuck did I get yeah. into? Yeah, what is going on? Todd should no, I was just more. thinking the Combs should have a picture of Doug and just say, you got raped. <laughs> <laughs> Rape Combs? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it, 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 it'll, it'll just be a picture of Doug that says, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no. Damn. Can't say no. It's bold. Easy. So <laughs> Ross's is the Ross sauce. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, chicory, turnip, radish, and forage kale. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Austin's will be the Last Supper. Oh, that's good. He's a Lord. Lord. He's that solid. is good. Lord. Lord. I'm bu- hey, I'm buying that. God damn, that's good. It's going to be like that. <laughs> that's Crimson damn. Clover, Turnip, Radish, and Forage Kale. Solid blend. Great blend. Good blend. And then uh, Clint Casper's will be a dash of Casper because I everything I came up with was just rapey. <laughs> originally, I wanted to go with Rub My Clint. Oh, but, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Nothing to do with food. Um, I, I like that a lot. Ma- maybe it was a little too far. I don't know. I'll, I'll <laughs> say it on. You got to start somewhere. The deer are going to be coming, man. They're coming. So, oh, they're coming. Emphasis on the come. <laughs> come on, this is a kids show. Cut this out. There's kids listening to this. I didn't want to go that far. But I do think well, it needs to be did. a T-shirt. So his is going to be uh, crimson clover, chicory, <laughs> radish, and rape. All right. So, so you guys will have your own blends on our website. By the way, you are a marketing genius. No matter what yeah, market that, you go, good job, in. Joe. That's beautiful. Thank you. The Last Thank Supper. You. The Last Supper. That's going to be the best seller right there. Just because of the name. Yeah. And the dude that's killing deer over it. I, I mean, like I don't know shit about fuck. Remember? No. If I seen that on a bag, I'd buy it. The Last Supper is just it hits on every. Oh, well, it avenue. makes sense. Yeah, it's going to be their Last Supper. Yeah. Kurt's cocktail is pretty good. You know what you That getting. one sucks. No Come one on. Sucks. This one's badass. I like You're the right. raw sauce. <laughs> but, man. They're all going to be good boys. Hey, Doug. Am I doing a lot of testing for this stuff? Yours is pretty solid. Well, thank you. Because I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Joe picked your blend for you, douche. <laughs> oh. Douche. Is that why? Seriously? I'm like looking Gee. at it like, yeah. Yeah, Doug. Out of all the money. Out of all our out. test stuff. Okay. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. a, actually fo- called something. The money maker. If that is your name, what's the second best blend on there? Mm. Mm. Food plot master. Percentage. What would be your top picks rated from first to last? Stash is the turnip rate, forage kale, and radish is... Hard to beat. Hard, hard, hard to beat. Okay. You if, know, if, you, you you have, if you want all If you want all I was going to say, you got for no sure, clover sure. in there. Uh, well, don't need it. Don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> don't need it. Hey, hey, but you got help in there. Okay, so if, okay, it, what else? if there was Steve one Cole. if there was one thing, I mean, I would, I mean, Joe knows how what kind of a clover guy. I'm a clover freak. Like, I would pick clover over. If there was one thing to plant, it'd be clover, 100%. We'll we'll get four inches of snow and I'll have standing corn mowed corn and they'll go to the clover that foundation clover and they'll dig it up mm-hmm. all year long. I mean, okay, you know I, I'd be kind of like you know Doug's you know the rape 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 I'd be clover clover clover. Okay, but like um, but I don't know Doug's is solid. Doug's there there is good. actually a name for Doug's I won't say. But it's actually. A, a I just blend. said rub my Clint. How would you not say? What <laughs> okay, <you're doing>? well, <laughs> here's, here's, I'd say I was going to put it in the G spot. Okay, or something, Nick. you know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> hey, is that my food? Pl- is that you my did good? Food dog. Pl- Fuck one, Thank kill you. one, marry one of our blends. Which one are you doing? Mm. Oh. Pretty good, right? That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'm here every episode for. I'm I'm marrying the stash. Okay. Nice. Ooh, shit. Fuck. Um, <laughs> everything else is really just close. I mean, come it, on, it, no, I pick mean, one, make it interesting. Nobody sucks. Yeah, Kurt, you kind of suck. <laughs> You're killing Kurt. <laughs> it's fuck you, man. Right? You're killing Kurt. <laughs> I just, my deer do not like radishes. I could, I, I've literally he killed you. Everything that we've we've tested in, do you, on, in that's just the weird thing. Kurt? You know how I chose my blend? Why is that? Of what? What Mark Drury recommended I plant. Oh, yeah. oh, so. <laughs> And, and I, hey. hey, you fucking dick nope. bags. Yeah, I didn't get any help with mine. Hey, no, listen, hey, no. I didn't ask him, hey, what should I put in my blend? I went off past conversations of talking to Mark what I should plant on my own farm. So you yeah. did ask him what you should plant on your farm yeah. last year? All right, so Kurt's dead. <laughs> you still I Kurt's call dead. And, so, and obviously, so is Mark <laughs> I Drury. Knew, I texted him. Bitch. Kurt's so I just dead buried and Kurt. Sounds like Mark I'm Drury. pretty much the only one that didn't Kurt's get married. We're happily married. We're happily married. We got okay. two kids. I'm dead. Mm, Kurt's dead. Ross. 
He's getting fucked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's solid. He's a good looking Ross. dude. Okay. Yeah. Moving good on. Beard on him. I'm going to spice you up with another one. All right. You got to answer this straight up, too. Straight. Right at you. Same question. Tiffany Lukoski, <laughs> Melissa Bachman. Oh, God, I know all. What was this? We used to do this all <laughs> the time. Yeah, but in the early days. Who was the third oh. one? And uh, Eva Shockey. Did I already say her? No. No. Mm, that's that's an interesting trio. I am sorry, girls. I know. Yeah. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> He's got put in the hot seat so Eva, hard. Eva, you're marrying Eva. Everyone's gonna, everyone wants to take Eva. I mean, everyone would literally want to take all she of them. She can meet open. your mom. Yeah, all of them. I love that all you're actually them. answering these. Yeah, all right. 100%. Yeah. I am too. You could have literally said, hey, piss off. And we oh, moved on. man. No, I, He's I'm, texting I'm not, Lee not, right now about like, hey I'm man, literally you know. like so I'm, sorry. Don't listen don't to this. Both of them. <laughs> I'm not. You're cutting your own dick off here. Yeah. <laughs> so, because we, I, we actually, should... I actually talked to Melissa. She's like, hey, I don't have a feed. At, at, where was she at? Where did we see her? Illinois. Melissa's awesome, dude. At Illinois. She awesome, is a actually. hard working girl. Mm. Yeah. Like she's literally. Like, there's a lot of people in the industry be like, oh, she's just a girl. You Did know, ever like, tell you the story about hunts. my like, brother-in-law no, and Melissa girl, Bachman? Uh, absolutely outhunt all of us. I, I told Joe, did, have I ever told you the story about my brother-in-law? No. So I, I got to <laughs> tell the story real quick while we're on the topic, because Melissa's badass. She is badass. She's awesome. So my brother-in-law, Jake, Todd, you met Jake. Jake is, uh, Jake is how I met my wife back in the day when we were like 14. So we take jake to a trade show in nebraska just like hey come along hang out with this party we're gonna doesn't go hunt doesn't hunt at all he coyote hunts a little bit but like doesn't hunt doesn't know the hunting industry but jake is like a fun dude like just good time to have around loud yeah. long hair kind of like a, a pretty boy a little bit you know but so fun. He, but fun he's with us melissa walks up and we're like hey what's up melissa because we've had her on the podcast a handful of times jake no idea who she is Right away, you know, we're all drinking beers in the booth. Damn, you are sexy right to her face. <laughs> just right to her face. Like, just hitting on her cold-bloodedly, not giving not even a fuck. Knowing. And I'm like, oh, dude, how is this going to shake out? And Melissa is just such a gangster. She's like, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> you know, like, it was funnier yeah, and shit. And just smiled, and Jake just smiled back, and I'm like, yeah, and then just got okay. All right, guys. See you and later. And then you guys all pull your phone out and be like, uh, "I'm like Jake, is... you just hit on the baddest hunter, female hunter on the planet." Yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't give a fuck." You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and making it all even better. So know? I tell my wife that that night, and she's like, "Oh my god, I love it!" Like it's just so Jake that yeah. it's yeah. hilarious. But yeah, all three of the girls are that. that. I know. I just wanted to get that. you in some nope, trouble. Nope. Not going to answer any. <laughs> you just turn the pot. <laughs> we are excited about the BYOB as much as we've been having fun with it. That's the point of this, yeah, having fun with it. Yep. Exactly. And I still think we need an ice cream truck to roll into those shows, and Doug can wear the, like, the little pointy hat and you know, sell BYOB right out of there. Build your own blend right there in the show. So are we going to have a competition like, pull, on who sells tab. the most blends? <laughs> I, oh ooh. man! What what I'd like to see at, come out of this is when people are buying you guys specific blends. I want to see progress reports, mm. like like with the Facebook group and everything. Be like, this is the one I bought. This is what I think. Eric doesn't know shit about fuck, mm. right? Yeah, I mean, trail cam pictures, growth right, updates. Yeah, let's let's document it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, it's fun. And you know, I mean, if if one of these or. You know, not just you guys mixes here, but talk about, hey, this is what I put together. I mean, it might be to the point where we put it in a bag. Mm -hmm. Put my face on it? No. We would. Um, no. I, I want to sell things. We would. Uh, I do. <laughs> be selling more than you could ever make, so. I still got to get the pineapple tattoo. But. Todd, what blend would you oh pick out of all of ours you if you had to pick one? It, it can go off names alone. You got a sheet there? Yep. This is, this is a real question. Todd is now respected as a big buck hunter in the WCB community after like one episode. So here we go. Todd's gonna okay. Use. I appreciate that. Um, I'm a big fan of late season stuff, so Ooh. I'm kind of looking at this uh, Hey Man Haven, and there's you know the, the turnip rape chicker. Well, the turnip and rape is going to look good in the late season, but you got that chicory and, and crimson clover for a little bit earlier. 
it might give you the full season draw, and and I I kind of like that. I'm I'm not against it. Um, one I question see, I, I have I for you guys though is thanks, Daryl. Are you going to give the <laughs> like <laughs> recommended planning dates for each of these blends yeah. for the people? Like, yeah, we'll have it. Okay, and and these these mixes are already determined as far as what Three percentage shows. of the bag is getting. You know, so much rape, so much turnover. Yeah, all they'll, stuff. they'll so, come in one pound perfect. bags. Yeah. So you mix it. Your, I mean, just throw it, throw in, it the, in the just, broadcast yeah. yourself. And you know, we're we're gonna give the. I think the the overall acreage, the coverage is on there. Yeah. So you know, that's a a rough estimate, really. Yeah. No. Perfect. I, but, I think that's what I'm going with. Wow. Wow. First oh vote for Eric. Eric. Who would have thought oh, yeah. that Daryl would have picked you the best blend? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> what a shocker. It's amazing. What a, what a fucking shocker. Although I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. No. I mean, nice everything time. there is going to uh, hey, give, you, thanks, Todd. give you forage <laughs> and yeah. winter bowls. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> I'm just using my resources, you assholes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I, I was with you. If you were okay. a teacher, would you give him a passing grade? He cheated. No, he didn't. I did not he, cheat. He used his resource. But he did understand the assignment. Doug cheated. He didn't I mean, do he, anything. He did. Joe picked Doug's. The point he was, was to pick our own I blends for the people. Yeah, I mean, I really... And Daryl picked his blend. Uh, Eric? Honestly, yes, I'm going <laughs> to pass him, but I'm disappointed because I wanted this to be an extension of you guys. Honestly. Thank you, Joe. You failed. I, I really wanted to be I don't like. Know why I'm getting so much shade when Doug didn't even pick his blend? Eric, we're very disappointed. Joe literally <laughs> said on this podcast, <laughs> I picked jo- Doug's blend for him. Eric, I can't believe what you have done. <laughs> you know what? Well, but but the thing <laughs> is, fuck all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. It's blasphemy. <laughs> blasphemy. <laughs> and fuck you, Doug. <laughs> I, actually. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Yeah, that's true. I would love to see your blend just be nothing but rape. <laughs> well, you nope. can't have that. Nope. He's just getting oh. another drink. Is all Eric. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. Getting everybody well, I, in honestly though, your guys' blend isn't even on here because I going to the shows and doing the shows with you guys teamed up in the booth. Yeah. I sell more Buck Brunch in Illinois and well, Illinois at Bloomington and Peoria. Peoria. It was like. Uh, these guys told me to get Buck Brunch. I mean, buck Brunch is what they, we talk yeah. about. Whenever anybody comes up to me, I'm a Buck Brunch guy, man. I love it is that awesome. blend. It is. And that's, it, it, it's the first blend we ever came out with, and it's so simple. Yeah. And it produces. Yeah. It's simple. It works. It, it, it is the working class. It is it's literally. going to grow in the back of your truck. Yeah. Well, that, I always I mean, tell people to grow in your ass crack. Yep. All right. You got a lot of moisture in there? It will. It'll, just, it'll grow anywhere. That's what I'm saying. That's my point I'm trying to get across. Do you know from experience? It, <laughs> all this, going, getting serious a little bit, all this is very exciting for Big Time and us. And, yep. Joe, we appreciate you allowing us to do this on your website because the way we look at it, we're a small fraction of the Big Time family, and we're just proud that we're like the ones that get to fly this BYOB um, custom blend, I don't know, venture. That we're doing, so we appreciate that a ton, man. It, yeah. It's super exciting, and, and honestly, when we sat down and thought about it, like it just made sense to have you guys on this. Well, like, it, we appreciate it. Making feeding deer cool for the first time in the industry, and Joe, you're killing it. We, we appreciate it. The we whole try. big time crew is fucking amazing. We've never met a bad person that works for Big Time, so we thank you guys for the great partnership and the opportunities, and really. A lot of the deer we've killed since we've been partnered are because of Big Time. My biggest buck, I will say, was killed in part of Big Time. Legitimate. I appreciate it. It was. Someday, someday, that man over there will be able to say that. (laughs) Frank. (laughs) Frank. Frank's going to be able to be like, Whiskey Dick died. The gatekeeper of black guys in our industry. (laughs) (laughs) Is that right, Frank? Got it, bro. (laughs) I I do have one question for you since this went way off the rails. Uh When we hunt together now, Uh can we just call it the Adventures of Black Man and Robin? Sounds good. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be Robin. Hell yeah. I'll be Robin. (laughs) Damn. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous of that. You guys are a duo, Frank. I mean, I, honestly, man, I, I appreciate your friendship. Frank and I have had a blast this year chasing this buck, yeah. even though he's kicking our ass. We're trying to figure him out. Whiskey Dick is one of them deer? 
Whiskey Dick is yeah. the deer. Oh, he's the. I deer. mean, honestly, the the first night that we hunted together, we were sitting in that blind. We had a blast, and this massive eight point came out. He something that we we think we had another buck on the other side of the field, and they they cleared. Yeah. But watching this man get so excited, I mean, he's like, like he's getting ready. He's fired up. He's like, can, can I shoot that deer? I'm like, dude, your reaction right there is what I'm here for. Like absolutely, you let's do it. Yeah. But no, you get you. Let's go. Big <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. In <laughs> about that Jesus. time, a squirrel came in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going back there. Easy. We're going back to the squirrel. No, easy, Frank. No, Frank. Easy, Frank. Easy. Frank. Frank. <laughs> but no, they, don't even think about the squirrel. The, we know the, what happened last time. The friendships that we have—that's what we're all about. Nick, I can't thank you enough for everything you do for us. I mean, yeah. Nick Ingles is the most humble person that I know. Literally everyone knows him, and he is so low key. It's stupid. He does so much testing for us in Illinois on the food plots and everything. Everything mm-hmm. that we're coming out with has been planted on his farms as well as ours. Yeah, because we're trying to get different areas and everything. Mm-hmm. Plays a major key, and he's one of my best friends. And I appreciate all you guys. And you can you can meet Nick at a lot of trade shows. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come talk. I, to I Nick. always get that. Uh, who are you? Who? What now do you, you do? What, now what, you know. What did you do? What? Now you know. I don't. I don't get it. How, Listen, how do you know? going back to the trade shows? The That's party blocks, school. man. We're gonna have some party blocks. Um, again, reminder because I know. You, hopefully, you've been. If you're working, shout out to you. If you're listening in your free time, drink some beer along with us on these episodes. But yeah. um, Indiana, well, ATA, we'll all be at ATA. The Indianapolis Deer Turkey Waterfowl Expo last week in February. It's a four day mm-hmm. show: Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're doing two live podcasts this year. So we're probably going to do one Big Ten related. We'll have to pick another topic. I have to do that like ASAP. And then uh, what do we got next? After Indianapolis, we have Iowa the Deer Iowa Deer Classic, Classic, first week in March. And then after that, we head to the Ohio Deer Classic, Columbus, Ohio. Then we have Wisconsin. a weekend off. And then Wisconsin. Oh, no, we go to Wisconsin. Then we have the Illinois Deer Classic. Wisconsin's at the Kalahari, Wisconsin Dells. Then Illinois Deer Classic, uh, Peoria, Illinois at the Civic Center. And I think at all of those shows, we're going to be booth neighbors, all three of us. And then um, in August, we're going to do our best to attend Deer Fest in West Bend, Wisconsin. We're going to try to do a uh, you know, gang bangy up on another three-way. What's up? We're going to have some fun. So uh, there, that's the, that, we're going to have an old-fashioned bar at the Deer Fest. I like that idea. So we're going to have a Lord's Old Fashioned Bar at Deer Fest, West Bend, Wisconsin. That's the goals. Come on by and... Um, is deer and beer on again? Deer and beer, deer and late beer. August. Late August, yep. We're doing that for sure. We're going to have a party again? Oh, hey, the shoot. June. The shoot. I, had to, uh, I have the date set up. Working class bow hunter shoot as of right now is on... June 10th. I think that's right. June 10th. Thank you for not having on my daughter's birthday this year. Well, I want well, what I want to do... I wanna I, do I, I'm not making any promises, but it's it's possible this year. We're going to do the pop-up. Here's what I want to do. Oh. Oh. Fucking make that happen. Damn it. You said on the podcast it's got to happen now. I said. You did you say re- it. Yeah. I said, I said it's possible. You said it's mm. going to happen. <laughs> um, the, the after party, we should do a big time Novix after party. Okay. Come in, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Done. So the shoot's always brought to you by big time. The after party I'm can in. be brought to you by big time and Novix. And Novix. We'll have drinking <laughs> competitions. You have to sit in Novik stands when you do it. Mm. <laughs> He's <With> hard. <laughs> you can fall and break your neck. It'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, we're not liable. <laughs> we're messing around. All right. Anything you guys want to add? No. Nope. This was fun. Thanks, Joe. Good. Join my team. Thanks, fellas. Yep. Thanks for having us. Kurt's cocktail. Come get you some. I guess we should say that'll be available in like March. Oh, yeah. that's fair. Right when you yeah. want to start thinking about it. Yeah, save we'll, be, we'll be pushing it. Trade show season, man. Trade we'll be show. hustling that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate you a ton. Thank you, boys. You know what to do? Go shoot your bow. Love you guys. Thanks for putting up with us. Later.